Everything. I just love to play for the club and it's not a secret that uh, I enjoy home games much more than uh, away games because Section 12 is the different factor in not, not only in Denmark but I think in whole Europe and they proved it in Champions League that they are much better than uh, the big clubs I would say. Uh, it's a little bit both of them because when the ball is going out, for example, uh, throw in or a small break, then sometimes I have we all all of us we had a situation where like, wow, oh, fuck, you need to look at it, and we just like turn and look at section 12 or the whole stadium when it's like T4 or something. So it 100% home. Yeah, I love to eat home. Um, my wife cooks uh, really good. But if I need to choose restaurant, I would say mesh because uh, I love meat and uh, the steaks there are incredible. <laughs> First of all, what goes into my head in the last couple of months I was playing with, a, with an injury. Uh, but I had a talk with Nice and he said, uh, if you ever go down and want to go out, just look at me and then get up. And uh, I, I don't remember what game it was. I think it was Nordschland or something like this when I'm going down the like 15th minute and I feel that I just cannot play. It's just in, impossible to step on my foot. And then I'm looking at this and he's like, get up. <laughs> and I go, okay. <laughs> and then I just finished the, finished the game and uh, ended up playing 90 minutes. So yeah, my, my feeling is just like, don't, don't get this guy angry. <laughs> <laughs> So that, that's a... Uh, yeah, that's, that's a, an extra motivation to push through the pain. <laughs> yeah, me Messi 100%. But right now, I would say in defenders, I, like, I really like uh, Van Dijk. And uh, yeah, that's it. Why? Why Messi? Why both of them? I, I think to ask why Messi is... Uh, Stupid <laughs> question. <right? laughs> a little bit. <laughs> because he's by far the best player that ever played football for, for me. And Van Dijk, because he's so physically dominant, uh, he's good with the ball, fast, uh, uh, he's just perfect centre-back, so yeah. Yeah, yeah I wear it in Oster, bro. <laughs> Yeah, uh, no, it was uh, the guys uh, we live, uh, the, who, who live uh, next to me. So we, we have a bar that uh, um, Section 12 is going when we go to the, to the game. And when I'm coming home, I always go uh, around the block to, and past the bar. So most of the time after the game, I just uh, stay with them and uh, we have a small talk. Like uh, in TV3 or VR play, and we just talk about the game tactics and everything. So what well, went good, what went wrong. So they gave me the present of T-shirt and actually they also gave me stickers of uh, Section 12. Uh, ultra s stickers and uh, my son has a <laughs> has a toy now with the ultras and section 12 sign on it so so uh, if yeah. there's any stickers up anywhere close yeah you if live, you see a two-year-old with the ultra sign on it it's my son <laughs> lovely that's a nice little way to uh, to round off uh, a game to go with the uh, meet up with the yeah i think it's the best because uh, they, they see it more than uh, more than us from upstairs so <laughs> To have a little chat, it's sometimes refreshing also for me and to know something outside of number 10 or the club. Lucas Leragel. He is a true, true, <laughs> true energizer. He, I never seen him say that he's tired, even though he played uh, a lot of games and uh, play, uh, playing 30 games, he's still here. First uh, training, first uh, running like uh, crazy. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, he, I would say he has the most energy in the team. Oh, a lot of factors. Uh, last season bef before I went to FC Co, I started to play less uh, because uh, the new coach he bought uh, a guy from Serie A who was like a son to him and uh, also it was a problem with uh, legion, uh, like foreigners limits because you cannot have uh, more than uh, five foreign players so uh, 
obviously uh, attackers, uh, Brazilian attackers, they need to play in starting 11. So I was feeling that I have more chance of playing uh, Champions League games than uh, Premier League games, uh, Ukrainian Premier League games. So yeah, it was a tough decision uh, to think about it. But uh, then when uh, FC, I got a call once again from FCCO, I was like, yeah, I need to go there. I want to go there. So. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a difference because uh, even in my passport, if you read it on Georgian and if you say it in Georgian, it's David, David. Uh, but uh, in passport, I have, uh, if, you, if you write on Georgian, it's T and on English, it's David, like David. So both of them is correct uh, because what Georgian you, name is David. What do you prefer? I'm used to Kocho now <laughs> because everyone calls me Kocho. <laughs> Yeah, my, my first club was uh, actually now playing in uh, Georgian Premier League and uh, at the time when I started to play football when I was six, uh, the club was just uh, like creating and we had a mini football obviously because uh, you, you don't play on 100 meter pitch. And then uh, growing up, uh, the, the guy who was the president of uh, Saburtalo, the team is called, he, he was seeing that we have uh, really good talents in the team and he said that uh, after, when you grow up 16 or 17, we will be the team of Premier League. So when, when we were like 15, I think, we started from third division. And when we, when we turned uh, 18, it ended up that we went to Premier League. So the club's first Premier League team uh, was our generation. And uh, yeah, it was quite fun because uh, from six year old until like 17, we, we had the same team that were uh, childhood friends. So yeah. Then I went to, uh, then I had a couple of loans in the first league uh, after I had uh, broken my ankle. When uh, it was first league teams where I was playing sometimes uh, as a six, sometimes as an eight. So I was changing positions, but trying to come back to the best shape because I was out for, for a year, maybe more, a yeah, year and two months. And uh, then I went to, uh, it's a Black Sea city in Georgia, it's called Shukura. And the team was uh, the, the, like, they, they, they just don't want it to relegate. But we ended up uh, having a good team and finishing fourth. And the coach uh, who was coaching me uh, in that team, he went to Ukraine, uh, to Chernomor. It's, it's uh, also Black Sea, it's just across the Black Sea <laughs> from, from, from that city. So yeah, he went there uh, as a coach. And he took me, and uh, that's where my career like, progress started to really fast because I played there only one and a half year, and then uh, six months I was talking with uh, Shakhtar, and and then yeah, then happened what happened. I went there and started to win uh, more trophies. Oh. I actually was talking to to the coaches a couple of days ago that I think I even did uh, more than it was uh, necessary because we had a physical coach and uh, we started like 14, 15, we started to hit the gym, we started to run a lot, uh, so it was more like individual after the team trainings and I ended up uh, damaging my, my back uh, because of the weights that I was lifting, the, because of the squats that I was doing, and uh, that, yeah, yeah, I think I, I did a little bit too much because uh, damaged my body. Because now, now I understand that uh, the rest and sleep is also more, more maybe if if not more important than trainings to have a good rest, a good food and everything. But back then I was thinking if I train like five, six hours, then I will be five, six times better, but I was wrong. <laughs> I actually don't like uh, sliding tackles. Like, yeah, I, I enjoy it when I do a good tackle, but um, I prefer a good standing tackle when the guy just hits me and a little, little bit of stare down or something like this. So I had the... Uh, I, I don't remember who it is from Bromby. I was saying to him the whole game, like, go to gym and you need more power and everything. So, yeah, that I enjoy much more. Yeah, David Kocholava. <laughs>
We should I, uh, put I, that on Spotify, maybe. Yeah, <laughs> actually, when, when I come in, Dennis always sings this song every time he sees me, so it's quite difficult to forget it. Amazing. Uh, yeah, I, I enjoy it. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I really like it, and uh, I really like to use my physical power to, by winning challenges and duels. So uh, if I need to choose uh, scoring a goal or making an amazing tackle, then tackle is a winner. <laughs>